part two section part two part two section of AI medical imaging and we're gonna focus obviously on cancer or oncology so basically imaging is a broad science that uh, um, actually comprises of four things so if you just have to look at imaging uh, what does it comprise of so the first would be design design development evaluation and finally the application so these are the four aspects uh, uh, you need to focus on when you're looking at imaging so imaging essentially uh, does uh, two things what it actually does is it is trying to understand what signals are being detected so it's basically all about signals so what are the signals that we are detecting and uh, this, yeah, so uh, it's and, and the signals basically are doing two things. So they either look at the underlying biological process and and the underlying structure. You need to understand the structure, right? Um, signals are and can be of two types, essentially. So the first type of the signal is an endogenous signal. An endogenous signal. And the second type is an exo genus signal so basically these are the two type of signals we are actually focusing on um, so basically um, so the endogenous signals are associated with the intrinsic characteristics of the body so intrinsic characteristics of body um, and and these characteristics affect the imaging modality for example uh, you could have x-ray x-ray or just look at the chest x-ray it detects a lung lesion because of the intrinsic difference in the x-ray attenuation con, uh, coefficient so you have an uh, So you have the X-ray, X-ray attenuation coefficient and the difference between the attenuation coefficient of the lung and versus the tissue of the tumor. So that is what it does. So that's the example a little bit of your endogenous. Similarly, you could also look at the brain tumor, uh, increased swelling, uh, alters the environment of the protons in water and results in altered um, MRI, uh, for example. In contrast, the exogenal signals are those that arise from the introduction of an imaging agent. So here, you introduce an imaging agent basically uh, what, what what agents could that be uh, that could be you know you could be injecting an iodinated iodinated x-ray absorbing contrast agent so x-ray absorbing 
contrast agent or for uh, for a CT scan for example for a CT scan computer tomography scanning CT scanning purposes or injecting a radio labeled um, sugar analog so that would be one and the second could be oh, uh, and the second could be you could be injecting uh, sugar analog for your PET remember your what I mentioned positon uh, emission tomography for your PET imaging of metabolism metabolism so basically you know if you just look at it this way so the advances in molecular biology and we're actually looking at molecular biology all, all this time um, so essentially the advances in the molecular biology which became a super exciting field especially after the second world war physicists were extremely disappointed uh, dejected and and that led to Erwin Schrodinger uh, write this beautiful book uh, amazing book that transformed so many uh, no, even Nobel laureates winners lives when they moved into uh, he wrote a book called what is life what is life imagine a physicist writing this beautiful book so essentially okay I digress but I mean that's important um, uh, to know so the advances in the molecular biology have stimulated development of variety of targeted molecular imaging agents whose distribution in body reflects the regional differences in the biological activity as I said or the expression of the targets to which they bind and this field is called uh, molecular biology so let's take a you know let's let's stop here for a bit um, and then I'm gonna go um, in the next lecture I'll go a bit into uh, a bunch of imaging techniques techniques uh, different will go across different visual representations as I can just show you guys here on on for example this guy is uh, your you know visual representation of cancers of different spatial scales and time points we're going to go into all these in the next upcoming lectures um, so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next class